Let's look at 4.1b. Uh, we're looking at some more homework problems dealing with um, uh, position, velocity, acceleration, and with um, particle motion. Uh, but now uh, we are working from the um, find the integral from uh, starting with acceleration and moving up to velocity and up to position function. So a uh, baseball is thrown upward from a height of 2 meters with initial velocity of 2 meters per second. Determine its maximum height. Uh, so we know initial position S sub 0 is 2 meters. Initial velocity V sub 0 is 10 meters per second. We know acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So we want to work our way up from acceleration to velocity up to position. So uh, the integral of acceleration will get us to velocity. So the integral of acceleration, the integral of negative 9.8 will give us negative 9.8 t plus c. And uh, we can now that we have a general velocity equation, we can use the order pair from velocity to help us solve for c. I can plug 0 in for t, 10 in for velocity, and then 10 is equal to 0 plus c, so c is equal to 10. I can now update and find my specific um, velocity equation. So now we have our velocity equation. We're going to move up to the position function. So we're going to take the integral of, of our velocity function. So negative 9.8t plus t 10. So going through power rule, we get negative 9.8t squared over 2. 10 becomes 10t plus c. This cleans up a little bit more to be negative 4.9t squared plus 10t plus c. Uh, we have an order pair from position function that we can plug in. So 2 plugs in for s of t. 0 plugs in for t. So we get 2 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus c. So c is equal to 2. Now we have our updated position function. Okay, so now we want to find the maximum height. Maximum height will occur when velocity is equal to zero. So we're going to take our velocity function, set equal to zero, and then solve for t. Okay, when we solve for t, we get uh, 9.8t is equal to 10. Divide both sides by 9.8t is, e is roughly equal to 1.02 seconds. Um, so it's going to take 1.02 seconds for the ball to reach its maximum height, but we still haven't found the maximum height. We still have to take the 1.02 and put it into the position function. We want to know uh, how high off the ground the ball is at this moment in time. So 1.02 gets plugged in for all the t's. Use our calculator um, to find the position at 1.02 seconds, the maximum height before uh, the ball starts to... Um, go down is going to be 7.102 meters that occurs 1.02 seconds after the ball is thrown. Uh, 57, uh, with what initial velocity must an object be thrown upward to, um, to reach a maximum height of 200 meters? So um, we have our position function here. We can let this rep represent it as um, negative 9.8 t squared over 2 or negative 4.9 t squared plus v sub 0 t plus our initial position. Okay, we want to find out what the initial velocity is. So um, we can do that by solving for v sub 0 or solving for t first. Um, so v sub, uh, we know the maximum height will occur when velocity is zero, so we replace um, zero in for velocity. And here we can solve for time. So um, bring the v sub zero over to one side, we get 9.8t is equal to v sub zero. Divide both sides by 9.8, so t is equal to v sub zero over 9.8. And now we can set the position function equal to the maximum height. Okay, so the maximum height is 200. Um, here's our position function. If we set that equal to each other, um, we can get this down to one variable if I replace every t with v sub 0 over 9.8. So t gets replaced with v sub 0 over 9.8. This t gets replaced with v sub 0 over 9.8. The nice thing here is that now we can, now our variable, our one missing variable is v sub 0, and we can just algebraically solve for that. So if we square this, we get uh, v sub 0 squared over 9.8 squared. Um, these two combine to be v sub 0 squared over 9.8.
and then uh, if I multiply everything through by 9.8 um, I can get the, get rid of the denominator here um, sorry multiply everything through by 9.8 squared um, we'll cancel this out I'm still left with a 9.8 up top and this gives me 198 times 9.8 squared and then use our calculator here um, divide both sides by 4.9 take the square root and we get 62.3 meters per second okay 58 the Grand Canyon is 1800 meters deep at its deepest point uh, the rock is dropped from the rim above this point right the, the, the height of the rock as a function of t in seconds how long will it take for the rock to hit the canyon floor so here's our starting uh, position uh, negative 4.9 t squared plus v sub 0 t plus 1800 um, so we want to know um, how long will it take for um, the rock to hit the ground so I'm going to go ahead and replace s sub 0 uh, s sub t with 0 and we know that um, since the rock is being dropped the initial velocity is going to be 0 so I can replace v sub 0 with 0 this will go away so I'm left with um, s of t is also replaced with zero since we're trying to figure out how long will it take for uh, the rock um, from its initial height to hit the ground with a height of zero that has a height of zero so to solve for t we can subtract 1800 from both sides get divide both sides by negative one divide both sides by 4.9 and then take the square root and it'll take 9.2 seconds uh, for the rock um, to hit um, the canyon floor.